Northern Lights have the potential to put on a dazzling display tonight. But as WBZ's Jacob Wyckoff shows us, the stars need to align to see it. So if a storm arrives, is New England in play? When solar energy reaches Earth, it doesn't spread out evenly. Most of the time, it stays locked far up to the north, lighting up skies in Alaska and Canada and places like Iceland. But during strong storms, like we have today, that glow can stretch farther south. And sometimes that's enough for New England. Earlier today, I spoke to Tony Rice, a NASA ambassador, who explained how this happens. Picture a donut around our Earth. Uh, that's the magnetosphere. That's that uh, magnetic shield, if you will, that is protecting us. That magnetic shield usually funnels energy towards the poles, but stronger storms push that energy deeper, widening the viewing audience. That's why latitude matters. You being at those higher latitudes, you're going to see this far more often than we will down here in the south. But even then, nothing is guaranteed. If it is the wrong charge, it will be rejected by our magnetosphere. It'll bounce right off. Meaning the storm can arrive and still produce little to nothing. Of course, add in cloud cover, timing, light pollution, and the odds narrow even more. It doesn't hurt to go outside and look, but you know, have the right expectations. This is a very rare thing. It's very, very difficult to predict. If the timing and the physics line up, New England could catch another rare glimpse. But if not, the next chance may not be far off. We're at the tail end of the peak of this 11-year solar cycle. In the studio, Jacob Wyckoff, WBZ News. And of course, the key is to hold up your phone. I was going to say, you got to keep in mind that your phone will pick up the colors a lot better than your eyes will. Right, sometimes mm -hmm. that's the exciting part. Yeah. We'll